You guys, what a great haul. I just got everything I need. Cheese, meat, crackers, and more. And I saved so much, I'm even gonna make a butter board. I can't wait. Hey guys, I'm Shay and I absolutely love the holidays. So today I'm back at Aldi to get everything I need for the ultimate holiday charcuterie board. Let's go check out those low prices. Aldi is helping food lovers take their charcuterie boards to a whole new level. Any great charcuterie board has to start with great ingredients. It's nice to have a balanced board by using a soft cheese, like this almond and cheddar cheese ball that was only $2, and a flavored cheese, like this cocoa dusted goat cheese from Car Valley. Now that we've got our cheeses, we can't forget about the meats. Aldi has these amazing variety packs with cheeses and salamis, a capicola, calabrese, and hot salami, and prosciutto for under $4. Aldi has such a great selection of breads, but one of my favorites is these take and bake baguettes. It's all the fresh flavor of homemade bread in like a tenth of the time. If you really wanna make your charcuterie board stand out, it's nice to spruce them up with some different shaped crackers. So I've got these breadsticks for texture, and then I've got these cranberry and sea salt artisan crisps, which are gonna add a nice sweet and savory bit. And finally, a charcuterie board is great on its own, but you can really take it to the next level by pairing it with a nice wine. Let's check out. You guys, what a great haul. I just got everything I need. Cheese, meat, crackers, and more. I can't wait. All right, so I just got back from Aldi, and I can't believe I got such a variety for such a great price. We're gonna build two different boards today. Over here, for smaller parties, this board is under $25. And over here, we're gonna make a board for under $50. It's better for bigger parties like for my family. Let's get started. All right, let's talk about what we have here. So starting at this end, we have the cranberry and sea salt crackers, and then we're moving on to a sharp aged cheddar cheese. All of the sliced meats and cheeses are gonna be from that variety pack, which is a great idea if you're purchasing on a budget. Over here, we've got that almond and cheddar cheese ball that was only $2. It's always a good idea to have a soft and a hard cheese on a charcuterie board to give a little bit of variety. We've got the white cheddar stuffed olives and then the salt and pepper scalloped crackers, which are gonna go perfectly with everything. And then to balance out all of this savory, you're gonna add a little bit of fruit with a nice apple. And now we're gonna move on to the $50 board for larger parties. For boards this size, I like to do three to four different types of cheese, three to four different types of meat, and about three different types of crackers. For the cheeses, it's best to do a soft, a hard, and a flavored. So for the flavored, we've got a white cheddar cranberry that was only $2.50. We've got the cocoa crusted goat cheese from Car Valley, and then I have a Jarlsberg and a Brie. For the meats, in one of the nicer variety packs that we have, we have a calabrese and a capicola, and then we had a prosciutto packet for under $4. In addition to that, we have the jalapeno cheddar stuffed olives, the red pepper spread over here, the snickerdoodle almonds, and some blackberries and grapes for a little bit of sweetness. And keep in mind, there's backups of a lot of these products to replenish your boards throughout the night. I've really been wanting to try a butter board, so I went for it, and it was so easy. And it was under $10. Let's check it out. All right, I wanna show you just how easy it is to make a butter board at home for under $10. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is let your butter sit out at room temperature for about an hour or until it's soft to the touch. Next, you're gonna take that butter and you're gonna spread it out on your board. And then pretty much after that, it's seasoning it with whatever you'd like. So today I'm using everything but the bagel seasoning, some freshly chopped green onion, and then I'm just gonna garnish it with some freshly toasted French baguette. It's so easy and so delicious. Voila! Thanks for coming along with me to get all of the ingredients we need for some truly epic charcuterie boards. They're gonna be perfect for the holidays. I can't believe we were able to find everything for a $50, $25, and even a $10 butter board. Thanks, Aldi. See you again. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the Aldi YouTube channel for more videos like this.